Hello, in this video I will show you how to set up OpenGL and GLAD with code blocks on Windows. Software evolves and things that worked at the time of this recording may not work in a few months or in a few years. Please check the video description for updates and corrections. I assume that you've already installed the latest version of code blocks and GCC from MCS2 on your computer. If this is not the case, please check the video description for links to the relevant tutorials. Let's start by installing the free GLAD library. From the Windows Start menu, open MCS2 MCS command window. Again, if you don't see the MCS2 entry in your start menu, check the video description for links to my previous tutorials. Now, write the next command, pacman, space, dash s, mingw, dash, w64, dash, x86, underline, 64, dash, free glut. Write y and press enter when asked if you want to proceed with the installation. Next, we are going to install an extra library named Glue that is useful if you want to use modern OpenGL. Without this library, you won't be able to use newer OpenGL versions and shader programming. Right exit and press Enter to close the MCS2 window. Start code blocks and create a new C project. If you prefer to use C++, the setup is similar, but you will need to slightly modify the code. Let's compile a simple C program to be sure that the GCC compiler and code blocks were properly installed. Ok, it worked. Now, right click on the project name and select Build Options. Select Linker Settings and in the right panel, add the libraries that we want to link with our project. FreeGLAD, Glue42 and OpenGL42. Press OK. Now we can rebuild the program to see if you have any linker error. Next, I will show you how to use the GLAD library to create a window with an OpenGL context. I'll put a link in the video description for all the OpenGL examples used in this tutorial. Start by including the free GLAD header. Next, we are going to write a display function that will be called by GLAD every time the window is redrawn. This function will first erase the frame buffer. Once the frame buffer is cleared, you can write your OpenGL draw commands. Finally, call GLAD swap buffers to show what was drawn. Next, we'll implement a keyboard function that will be called by GLAD every time a key is pressed on your keyboard. For example, we can choose to exit the program when the user presses the Q key. Finally, let's fill the main function. We start by defining the window size, 600 by 600 pixel in this case. Next, we tell GLAD that we want to have a double buffer display with an RGB and a depth buffers. At this point, we can create the actual window. Once a window with an OpenGL context is created, we can print the default OpenGL version. Next, we tell GLAD to use the above two functions for managing the keyboard and the display. Let's use red to clear the display. This will give us a red background window. Finally, call the GLAD main loop function to let GLAD take control of our program. Build and run the program. If everything goes well, you should see a red background window. In the console, you should see the default OpenGL version for your computer. Press Q to close the window. If you are interested in using the old OpenGL style, the one that uses GLBegin and GLEnd, you have all you need. As an example, let me copy-paste here some code that uses the fixed pipeline functionality from OpenGL to draw a rectangle. Please keep in mind that this kind of code is old style OpenGL and not recommended for newer programs. Build and run the program. Next, I will show you how to enable modern OpenGL and disable the old style functionality. Start by adding the glue header file. Next, we are going to tell GLAD that we want to use modern OpenGL. Modern in this case means to use an OpenGL version newer than 3.3 and disable the compatibility profile. 
If your computer supports new OpenGL versions like 4.5 or 4.6, change the version number accordingly. In order to be able to use any of the new OpenGL functions, we need to load this. For this, we'll use the glue library. At this point, you should be able to use modern OpenGL. Even better, the old style OpenGL will not work anymore. Try to build and run the program. The GL begin, GL end code should be inactive and sh you should see only a window with a red background. Let's delete the inactive code and build the program again. Next, I will copy paste the same white square on a red background example, but this time using modern OpenGL. As you can see, this time the code is larger and more complicated because for modern OpenGL we need to use shader programming. Check the video description for a link to the code if you want to try it on your end. Build and run the code. As expected, the graphics is identical. Thanks for watching and please like, share and subscribe.